Hey guys, you asked me how to create and change prefabs in Unity. I use Unity 2018.3 for this tutorial and my low poly game kit. I imported a key model that I want to use as a prefab that the player can pick up. So I drag this game object into the scene and the first component that I will add to this is a script. To define this game object as an inventory item that the player can use, so I just drag the script into the inspector to define it as a component for the selected game object, which is the key. Okay, now I have to define a few settings for the pick, position and rotation of the player's hand that I evaluated earlier. I speed this up a bit. Great, but then we will turn this into a prefab that we can reuse. All we have to do is to drag the item into a folder that is named prefab. Very simple. It's also fine if the item is placed into a child folder of a prefab folder, like my one for interactables. When you drag it in, you're asked if you want to create an original prefab or a variant. We will create an original prefab. I will explain variants in one of the next tutorials, but now the item is a prefab that you can open in a separate view. Okay, now I select and press the F key to focus the object. The changes that you make to your object in this mode will affect the prefab. If you want to go back to your scene, you can use the breadcrumb at the top left corner of the window. Okay, here I'm back in my scene and when I select my game object now, you can see that the changes that we made to the prefab have an effect on the game object as well. The key script is added to the key. I can even delete the key now from the scene and drag in the key again from my prefabs folder and it also has the script attached. But there's another way to make changes to your prefab without opening the prefab editor and this is by making the changes in your scene and apply it to the prefab later on. So what I do here is to change some properties of the script and also add a new component, a box collider, to the key. To apply the changes now to the prefab, you can open the overrides and here you can see the changed components for the key, the key script and the box collider. And you can either now apply the change for each component separately. To do this, you select the component and then you press the apply button. You could also revert the change if you like. And the other option is to apply it for all the changes by pressing the button apply all and you could also revert all the changes by pressing revert all. And now I can again delete the object from our scene and drag it in again using the prefab. And here you can see all the components and the changes that we made are available. Alright, the last thing that I want to show you is an option in the prefab editor, so I open this up again. There's still an open change, I have to add an image for the component for the key script, this is an image that is displayed in the inventory when you picked up the item. And here's the option, autosave, which I wanted to show you, here it is explained. When this is enabled, which is the default, every change is automatically saved to the prefab asset. You would perhaps disable this for importing objects if you experience long import times. Alright, these are the things that I wanted to explain, very basic stuff. Now let's start the game and see the prefab in action. Of course, this is also added to my Unity Low Poly Game Kit Pro. The link is added to the description. Now the player can pick up the key and when you select it, it is put to the player's hand. So guys, that was my short example for using and changing prefabs. I hope it was understandable for you and you liked the tutorial. If you do, then don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And if there are still any questions about this topic, then add these to the comments. Check out my Low Poly Game Kit for Unity and I'll see you on JNM.